My name is Kayla. I'm based out of Midland, Texas, and I'm 24, and this is Financial Audit. Welcome on over to Austin from that West Texas dryness. What do you do for a living? I am an analytical chemist. Okay, cool. Out there, uh, oil and the yeah, oils? oil, uh, oil and gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we making? So I make 50 uh, um, after taxes. Cool. So I bring home about like 4300 Mm-hmm. A month? Yes, sir. Very good. Yeah. And I know you're from Michigan as well. Yes. Yeah. You went to Northern Michigan University up there. I did. In the freezing cold. Cool. Yep. So. Freezing cold and snow. Yeah. 24. Pretty young. Thank you. <laughs> this is a new job. Yes, sir. I what? just graduated college. Yeah. When did you move down? So I actually moved to East Texas. My mom, after my dad passed away, my mom wanted to like move from Michigan. So she moved to East Texas. Mm. I followed her in May. I got a job out there, but I was fired. A uh, wrongful <laughs> termination. Why I, got, I got money. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. You sued? Um, uh, I filed an OSHA whistleblower complaint. Interesting. Because I told them that they needed a fume hood. It was a startup. Yeah. Um, and so I was fired. I had that job for about like three days. Three days. Why'd they say they fired you? Because I didn't fit in. But then I called, I was a part of a temp agency. So I called the temp agency's VP that I was given to from the HR and he called the like manager of the factory mm -hmm. and the manager reached out to the laboratory manager and he wrote this whole entire thing. It looked like it was from chat GTP, you know, like yeah. it had like that layout. Mm -hmm. But in it, he said it was because I brought up a fume hood and he Ooh. said that we didn't need a fume hood. Uh Oh yeah. The dude was exposed. In oh, his no, own. And I was trying so hard to like, he's not, he doesn't have a chemistry background. Right. So I was trying really hard to like make sure the lab was set up. Right. Make sure that his bosses were happy. And then that would make, that would by default, like make me look good. If I made him look good and then we could all look good. But so how, you much, know, how much people, money did you get? Like 5,000, but after taxes, it was 3,500. Yeah. So not enough. Well, I mean, you got a good job now. You it's, live in the middle of nowhere, but you got a good job now. It's okay. Yeah. That's the biggest what? city I've ever lived in. 50K after taxes right after graduation. I mean, uh, there's people doing worse than you. Thank you. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, some people do better than you when it comes to your debt. You've you've just debt, debt, debted yourself. We built up the credit card debt. I took did. out so many private student loans. Yeah. And I Sally did, made that. I didn't, didn't have to. I didn't have to either. Like, I could have taken out the federal but i didn't know i was first gen i was first gen too know, what do you mean i know i know i know you, a lot of people are first gen what do you mean for a second? Okay, okay so okay i yeah but also like during like the covid i showed up to the financial aid office there's no excuse i should have done my due research yeah so you're right i apologize i'll just give up on that fight well that was like two seconds you're welcome what <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah, no, I mean, this is, first of all, I mean, were you, when you were going to college, were your parents involved in, at all no. in the conversation? No. Okay. Other than my my dad who passed, my stepdad, actually, the yeah. one that passed away, he did co-sign for my student loans. All? Most of them. Before okay, see, he if he was co-signing, he... Because he doesn't, he doesn't, they don't, they don't, my family didn't graduate high school. Yeah, yeah. I'm recovered trailer trash. <laughs> Recycled, if you will. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, no, I mean it's okay. Lack of education is totally okay, but let's is not just let's let's not use the I'm a first generation, so I That's, was stupid about it. Yeah, I was first generation. Was a lot of the people I went to were first generation. Like we still know federal, especially since. And I'll say this: your mom I'll, has a nursing degree. Nursing degree, yes. She went back to college, though. Was should that before or after you went to it college? It was like right before I went to college. So technically, I guess you're right. But she Thank didn't you. go, mm -hmm. she didn't like go right after I'm high school. I'm not trying to like diminish your compliments by saying that. Yeah. And it was community college. I was the first person that went to a university and mm -hmm. whatever. Either way. It's still um, college. She still did it. She still did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw her do it while I was going through high school, uh, which superhero act, uh, essentially going and getting that nurse degree when she wasn't uh, making anything before that really. In terms of income really helped save the household. Uh, uh, that's a side tangent, but um, 
you know, community college you can pay for and all that stuff quite easily because it's much cheaper. Typically, at least the one that we went through in Kalamazoo Valley Community College, it's quite easy to pay for that out of pocket mm -hmm. versus borrowing where I went to a four-year degree type university and that Didn't you know, a lower Cal middle class. Kalamazoo Promise, I'm though? from Portage. Oh, that's different. Yeah, that's right. Next to Kalamazoo. Yeah. Darn. Yeah, I know. I missed free <laughs> college. I was I was like two miles away from having my entire tuition paid for. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I, I took out tens and tens you. and tens of thousands of dollars of student loans for a worthless degree that I didn't even get. So either way, doesn't matter. It doesn't about me. This is auditing you. Either way, what I will say in regards to the the, the excuse you tried to make is you did take out some federal student loans, so you knew it existed. I did at the end. It was well, at I the mean, end. so like I mean, the grants that I got, I did get grants, but yeah, I didn't know that. I thought that they just gave you. I didn't know. It's gonna sound real dumb. I'm not even gonna. You're gonna look at me like well, it's that. okay. <laughs> Ignorance is acceptable when it comes so, to a lot of finances so in the United States. I just like you know, I didn't know that I had to apply. I thought it was just like you got the loans that you got through your FAFSA when you got them. Okay. It doesn't. And that that was in like your fourth year, third year? Yeah. I went to school for five years because I changed my major. Yeah. From. Quite common. It was a, from an adjacent major too. It was from a chemistry major to another chemistry major. So. Um, so what I'm just picturing and what was making me smile is just like you're going into freshman year and you're just like Google student loans and like Sally made that like That's advertised at the top of Google or something and then you clicked on it. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what happened. Well, what is kind of good, even though obviously we have to pay these back and it sounds like you came from a place of, you know, trailer trash is, is what you said, which screams to me probably lower income. Yeah. I was homeless a couple of times. Well, there we go. That sounds like you making 50 K after taxes. That's more than anyone in my family. We, yeah. We're doing some generational changes through your chemistry degree. So when I'm setting aside money to save for a new purchase, like a car or a home or taxes or whatever I'm saving money for, like an emergency fund, I'm using SoFi. It's a 4.6% yield on my money, and it's just absolutely incredible. Why not take advantage of that free return on the money that's just sitting there? And there's great bonuses for signing up all the way up to $250 if you sign up using the link in the description below. It's literally free money. I use it. You should too. Yeah. Like, that's pretty it awesome. A, it was a good degree to get. Yeah. Honestly. Like, I wish that... And I wish I could have had the conversation with me when I was 18 graduating high school. Like, I wish we could go back and I could have the conversation with you and we could talk about how to go through college and get this degree. Because now, of course, you I have to pay have it back. I wouldn't have listened to even you. Still, even still. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if I would have listened to myself either. But even no, still. No, I was just, I just, I wanted to do things my own way. Even still. I think this will still have a better return on investment in the end. Yes, sir. We just need to uh, get this shit taken care of now. Give yourself a score of 0 to 10. Ooh. Um, Finance score. 0 0.5. Oh, okay. So, we have a credit card. I do. This obviously doesn't... This isn't... You didn't borrow this to pay the tuition to school. No. Nope. What built this up? Um, When my when my dad passed away, I was really, like, depressed. That's when I got... When was that? 2021. Okay. I was really depressed, Um, and I just started eating a bunch of fast food and like not really caring about i didn't think i was gonna live this long this is a fast food card no not just that just like bull i got really addicted to alcohol too really yeah oh no now that's a hard one especially because i'm that, not on it anymore that's good but that can translate to much more dangerous substances for some people yeah yeah i mean it is a carbon away from so. yeah exactly that is upper 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 for sure. But the only problem is, is like, you know, Walter White isn't making your, your uncle Walter is <laughs> making your, but still like abuse is still abuse and it's like not okay. Is making healthy. your. Yeah. Walter White chemists, they're quality controlling it. Oh, there's quality control. I see what you're saying. Um, I just didn't <laughs> say it very eloquently. Sorry. Okay. Uh, how long have you been off of that? I'm glad you are. Um, so, I mean, I am prescribed it. Um, mm. Was this so, abuse? Yeah. I mean, I. I was abusing it through college and then after college I was like okay I can take it like a normal person and I did that and then they wanted me so I w after college yeah you said you just graduated I did in May I start wait, can you just not <laughs> what so okay so I graduated in May and then I started taking Adderall like a normal person so 40 milligrams a day instead of 120 and I just stopped taking it about a week ago from 30 milligrams. 
Because I didn't, I couldn't do real in my life by just stopping it. No, I, I know, I know. But when you said like you're, oh, I was really. You were hoping that it was for longer. At least a month, not but I'm, a I, day. No, it's not been a day. It's been a week. A week, okay. That's diminishing the Seven days. Oh, you're right. Wait, but you said you're waning though. You're not fully off. No, I'm fully off of it now. Oh, okay. But I had to, I was on such a, I was at such a level that like, if I just went off of it, it would take me like a month to recover. Now, yeah. I mean, I I've been I mean, I've been working while I've been off of it, and it's been fine. Yeah, how how are you feeling? Good. I good. honestly feel really happy. I yeah. can laugh. Food tastes so good now. It diminishes the taste of food. It makes you not want to eat. Oh. You're not even fat. Don't even start. Girl, <laughs> my BMI says very different. Yeah, well, BMI is. I know it's, it's not it's not great it's not great it doesn't take into account Anyways, muscle but we're talking about me now we are talking about you and my tummy's a grumbling so that talk of fast food i want some wendy's nugs okay 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 wendy's is mid yeah but the wendy's nugs is incredible <laughs> wendy's is mid but the wendy's nugs is delicious the fries are sh- burgers meh, you know but the nugs are incredible never tried it well then you can't talk mid well i mean i i've been like not eating out unless i'm on a date on this card there still was a purchase though which is kind of upsetting because okay there's a balance we've gotten derailed multiple times there's a balance of four thousand twenty dollars yes with 123 dollars of interest being accrued mm-hmm. you did make a big payment more than the monthly payment which is good it's like oh we're trying to take care of our shit. congratulations but then you go and you get amazon yeah what are we doing like, if yeah. you're trying to make progress on it, why are we spending on a card that we lost 1622 in interest this year so far in $200 in fees? I lost that much in interest? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so why did I make that $45 Amazon purchase? It's because I accidentally overpaid on my credit card bill. What? So I thought that I canceled the $366 payment and I put in the 400 but I didn't cancel that. So, okay. Why does that mean we go spend money on Amazon? I shouldn't have, but it was. That, that didn't make sense. What kind of justification is that? Why Why do we go spend money on Amazon? Because we overpaid. What? Overpaid? Fantastic. Great. We overpaid. We're paying off the credit card more. I know, what? I know, I know. I know. But it was for my mom's Christmas present and I've never gotten her anything. Where'd the first thing even come from? What kind of justification was that? I overpaid? Because. So I get a Christmas gift? No, you're right. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's okay i'm just very confused um <laughs> i mean santa didn't come down and force you to spend that 43 dollars and 63 cents well, <laughs> well i don't know about that 32 percent of interest 32 percent of interest okay now we get to the fun selling maze you better be overpaying on these by accident i don't have so because i was out of a job i haven't paid on those because they're in the grace period i do pay on the interest i don't have to pay on them until may why are you growling because these are terrible and you make money and you may as well pay for it instead of spending money on i'm trying to pay off the credit card first then we shouldn't be spending on it i haven't spent on it in a really long time dude i don't know i just have the statement in front of me and you spent on it yeah that's true i mean but i don't normally like, well, I haven't spent on it in a year. $4,111.44 on this Sally Mae. Mm-hmm. Sally Mae, numero uno at 12% interest rate. <laughs> me. And yeah, you're doing minimum monthly payment, just the interest. Yes, sir. But you borrowed 4000 so it still has gone up to four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I don't like is, oh, f- what is this minimum monthly payment going to be? Uh, That's why I'm trying to get the credit cards paid off first. Yeah, but what is the minimum monthly payment going to be? I'm, I was maximum gonna, repayment term seventy two months. I'm gonna That's pay it off short. before that, most definitely. I, I'm gonna option? get my private student loans paid off next year. You better. I mean, it's not an option. I would pay it off earlier, but well, I'm just trying to figure out what I the mean, minimum. This year is almost over. I know, but by so the end of next year, one hundred percent, it will. Uh, I like. I'd pay it off like early next year. Okay. Either way, um, I don't make that kind of money. Where we'll see. You off. spend a lot of it. Again, we'll get there. Sally May number two. Sally May number two is called, oh my gosh. Okay. $3,700.40. 47 cents. At 9.375%. So it's down, but it's still well above where federal ones are. 
And again, don't know what the minimum monthly payment is going to be, but right now it's 25. That's the interest that's occurring. 96 months. This one's longer. Oy, 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 oy. Yeah, and we took out 3,500, but it's up to 3,700. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You look so smiley. <laughs> Enjoy- joyful. <laughs> How Which dare I? Appreciate. I? How dare I? I'm sorry. Huh. I mean, this is what I signed up for. So No, you know. I appreciate it because I feel like death, but you're happy over there. I wouldn't say that I'm happy. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to frown on This one's at 13.125%. Well, I just, I couldn't smile at these numbers personally, but I get it. It's, it's, um, that interest rate defense mechanism. Sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. The cope smile. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. 1,886. At least this one's a lower bounce at the higher rate. And then I have a verbal one that I have to tell you about. The friend? No, not that one. What? Um, so I have a College Avenue one at 3,000, I think, and it's Ugh. 16% interest. What the f- <laughs> What do you mean verbal? I mean, I don't, I have the paper for it, but I forgot to bring it. What's its current payment? Um, I, I don't have to pay on it until May. And, um, so what was the interest? 16? I, I don't want to, 16%. How do, why, why'd you even get that one? Because I needed it. And There's Sally wasn't given more? I thought maybe it would give me a better rate. But when you saw the rate... I didn't... It wasn't that high. It's when variable? I got it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sally's variable, too, sometimes. My credit's been... Since my dad died. What is your credit? Because my dad... 570. I was going to say maybe we refinance these, but... Not yet. Not yet. It'll get better. Trust me. Because right now I'm like basically homeless. So like. What? What does that mean? Well, I'm not homeless because like I, I live, I have, I live in a motel. Why? Because Wait, when did you go to Odessa? A month ago. I've, okay. I've moved a billion times in my life and many times not having much money, but I got a, I got apartments by. The apartments are more them. expensive than this motel. No. Yeah. I, so I pay 980. So it's going to be more expensive on there because it's more expensive for the first month and then it goes down. And um, I told my coworkers where I was living and they told me like, yeah, that's a dangerous part of town. And I've been harassed since I've moved there. I don't want you to be in danger, my dude. I'm not in danger. I mean, I have Yeah, I believe the word you just said was danger. Yeah, I mean, it's not safe. (laughs) I think we uh, in the world of English call that danger. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, Tessa. Oh, okay. Midland. It's a phallic shaped city. Pay hey, what? 900? 9980. The apartments there are like 1200, 1100. They're not Texas prices. I can tell you that much there. I found 900, 900 hours a month for a one bed, one bath in Midland. But is that with everything included? Um, I'm not sure. And my credit score is so bad, I couldn't qualify. Uh, maybe. There is this one time that like this guy like knocked on my window at like 1 a.m. and he was like I don't know I, I don't talk to anybody there but he was like calling me a b- and telling me to open the door you wanted to commute Odessa's not far um so from what I've seen Odessa's more expensive yeah no, no but I'm seeing like like uh, even like this I, like I very in- small house for 750 I'm not saying it's gonna be luxurious but, but is it for everything included though well, I mean the bills are a lot out there you too. mean like yeah, electricity and everything. And then also my credit score. I know, but people with credit score still get places to live. Yeah. I mean, I've only been there for a month, so like I said, I mean, it is my plan to, like, move. It's going to be pretty comparable, but again, what, what scares me the most is what you talked about with potentially danger. Yeah, and then this um, one guy... This sometimes one time, the houses... Someone was trying to pick my locks. That... I... I, mm. I think it builds character. Okay, f- I mean, you could be, like, dead. Okay. That doesn't well, build I mean, character. That ends character to, to a permanent existence. That's true. You didn't have to tell me to f- off, though. I tell everyone. F- Come on. Good. You've watched the, the show. I know, but it's different when you hear it in person <laughs> and when it's directed towards you. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It's a it's a love. F- it's not a. I was literally telling you not to like get murdered. <laughs> like like a brotherly. F- yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so, I mean, okay, so it, it's hard to tell, just, I'm just, I'm just finding the different places, I'm seeing 700, 800, 900, um, whether or not that it's all included, it's going to be different. One of the places I rent out, uh, all the utilities are included, you could just with how the system, uh, um, works, 
I'm just I'm trying to think of the word. The energy split between a couple oh. different units. Uh, we just throw that in the rent mm -hmm. instead of making them pay for it separately. Mm -hmm. And so on. So, I mean, you're just going to have to contact them. And a lot of these, they might be mom pile landlords if they're not a part of like a big complex. And they might be able to work with you on your credit score. And you show them the job, like, here's my job. Yeah. Here's my history. You know, it's going to take conversations. It's going to take harder work. But the fun fact that's not so fun is nothing ever works if you don't try. Yes, that's true. Closed mouths don't get fed. So. And good old federal student loans. Those will restart pretty soon as well for you because mm -hmm. you're, well, what is it? Six months after graduation, nine months mm -hmm. after graduation. Mm -hmm. So they've started. No, not yet. I mean, I technically, so like, yeah, I graduated in May and that's when I left for like my job and stuff. But I had this online class that I was finishing up. So I didn't oh. finish it up until August. Oh, so this is going to start early next year. Probably? So I technically didn't graduate until August. Though interest is accruing. Yes. Uh, thirty thousand eight hundred fifty-three dollars. Can't see any of the interest rates on them because I didn't get the full rundown. They're less uh, than five. Less than five. Perfect. Minimum monthly payments probably gonna be like three fifty. Oh yeah, probably. And then you borrowed five hundred dollars from a friend. I did. Why? When? That was when I first moved to the area, and the reason why I did was because I had like another way of making income, but it just didn't work out. What? Um, so I had a, so I got into like a sugar relationship mm. and I just didn't like that dynamic. Okay. It's a lot more work than people let it, let it on to be. And honestly, like I wouldn't recommend that anybody does it. It's dangerous and you could probably make more money being a sugar, and at least you're in control of your income, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't like it. So you stopped. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I mean, I was probably in like that type of arrangement for like two months. Yeah. How yeah. much did you make? Not enough. <laughs> How much did you make? Um, so 700. For the full two months? No. Oh. For the last month. The first month he didn't give me anything because he was flying me out from Dallas. I know. I know. I'm bad at negotiating and talking about money. So I do want to get an MBA in the future though. Really? No. Uh, no, I do. I do. I do. I thought you were going to yell at me about it. Why? That's yeah. a good degree. I, I think that it would really complement my chemistry degree i'm not anti-degrees i know i show my boys i love them at course careers i talk about certifications i you know i do that all the time because they're good they college are. degrees are also good i just try to go about it they're really good yeah but i just try to go it's all about how you do these different mm -hmm. things it's not about yes this no this good this bad this it's going through things it's not as black and i also white. like didn't like that people with a lot of money use their money as a as like power over poorer younger individuals is this a in sugar, the sugar daddy situation? In the sugar relationship yeah, yeah but didn't you sign up for it? it it is it is and i did um but it's just did you seek it yes okay i'm just saying like i just didn't like that i thought that i could i would be okay with objectifying oh. myself in that way and i just wasn't yeah it's okay if you don't like it i mean i i believe consenting adults do whatever the 100, consenting adults 100%, 100%. do 100 um but um of course yes i agree if anyone's using like uh, power money for like you know they approach something someone and they try to use that to manipulate mm -hmm. them yeah absolutely you did sign up for it and you I did. you, you I sought did. it mm -hmm. okay um but so the i'm just saying like a lot of people think that it's not as dark as it is and it's oh pretty, sure it's a pretty dark world okay and a lot of people get a lot of flack for saying that really so okay i'll go ahead and say it it's not sure. all sunshines and rumors Sure. Yeah. I honestly, my, I, I, I don't know about that yeah. life. So yeah. not for me to <laughs> uh, say if it's good or bad, but uh, you borrowed $500 from the rent. So I did. Why have you not paid back any of this? Because even after your rent, you still have an extra $3,400 um, a month. So because I didn't get my first paycheck until three weeks after I got there. When did you get there again? I got there on 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 October 28th. Okay, so it's been a few months. Why is she not paid back? It's just, wait, October, November, December. So it's been two. So I haven't paid him back because he's not super adamant about me paying him back right away. Like he wants me to pay off, like get the majority. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's he's cool. just a good person. We've yeah, been friends for years. Cool. So. No, that's great. I, I like that. He, I, I would honestly do something similar if I lent mm -hmm. friend money and I would I, honestly I probably paid, gift it. But. I have paid him back $100 of it. 
So it's 400 now or yeah, it was 600. Okay. No, it was 500. Now it's 400. Okay, cool. No, I, I'm totally down for that. Whatever the agreement is, is whatever the agreement is. Yeah. And it sounds like he's encouraging you to do. Um, he always does. He's such a good person. Good. Good. I like that. Um, so, of course, we could have paid him off because, yeah. you know. I went to the national park. Yeah, Cranes and McDonald's. And what is the software fee? Who even knows? And uh, Oh, that's from the debt collector. I went. You have collections. No, at once. I had one and I dealt with it. Why was it $4.95? Because it was um, a transaction fee. Okay. And. That was 200 and Oh, that's your rent. And then TJ Maxx and Poyo's Restaurant. Poyo's Restaurant. Rent. Poyo's. Uh, something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had bill. two drinks and it was 20 bucks. Incoming wire of $10. Oh, yeah. They that. took $10 when my friend wired me the 500 from the Zell. And then there's your 500 that you borrowed from your friend. That was last month. Mm-hmm. Domino's. I had a free Jax. pizza, but I did spend money. Yeah. Yeah. You spent $20 and high Sierra and chili pepper cafe. Chili and, pepper cafe. Yeah. And, uh, and then there's your rent again. So it's not like you go crazy and you're just throwing money everywhere, but I, I, I mean, didn't have me, the money to do it and I shouldn't have done it. It's not even that. If I owe my friend, yeah, yeah, friend yeah. money, mm-hmm. like good friend money, yeah, you know, f- until you pay him off. Yeah. That's his morals. 100%. I guess I don't have those, right? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, your actions did not include them True. in that instance. I'm not mm-hmm. saying you're an immoral person. There's a lot that goes with morals. And also morals are pretty subjective anyway. So, mm-hmm. uh, okay. You seem very like almost defensive, ready to yeah. slap back on I mean, everything. I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> you can if you want. No, be no, yourself. no. Because I, I know but that. Like I know wondering. that. I know that you're just telling me the truth. I mean, remember, I didn't have a dad, so <laughs> I need someone to tell me what's up. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's I'm a human being. There's I'm, there's times where I've gotten things wrong as well. It's okay. This is, but I'm also just like, what's up? Like, why, up. why? 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 There's we... no thoughts. I'm just focused on the situation and how I can improve it and make it better. Like different miscellaneous. Five percent, like 108 bucks is what we got. Unknown shopping that's typically like Walmart or Amazon. This was Amazon in this case. Um, 2.7% food going out to eat, 6.4%. That's higher than it should be. Uh, yeah, and so was the miscellaneous. So was the unknown shopping, which was Amazon. Other large purchases, 12.2%. And that was a CM accounting. What was that? How much was it? 276. Oh, that was the collection that I owed to Charter. Oh, okay. That same okay. collection. I'm glad you paid. That and then off. I paid off the water. I just recently paid the water bill that I owed in Michigan. Oh, jeez. Off. I had a roommate that left. Not that that's an excuse. It shouldn't have taken me this long, but it did. But then necessary food was, of course, less than food. So great. Difference between unnecessary and groceries versus eating out. Oh, but you said it was unnecessary. I said your necessary food oh, necessary. was more. Okay, than I misunderstood your what you were saying. I may have said unnecessary. I may have had a. No, a you flub. didn't. It was my ears. So, again, it's not insane. Uh, now, what came in is much different than what you said. What came in was 2,653. Yeah. You said 4,300 comes in. That's because I. that's when I just started. Oh, so, that, so remember, you moved there in October, but you didn't start till No, I November? didn't start until um, November 6th, and I didn't get my first okay. paycheck until three weeks later. Okay. So it depends Post-tax. on how much overtime I work. I usually work about 50 oh, hours. Hourly. 50 hours a week because I want to that's why I gave myself a 0.5 was because I work a lot and I can pay it off like I'm I have that ability to do that now I can't it's not like you went insane but it's just I don't think any of that should exist with we owe a friend you're right because I mean that's so much more personal than a credit card and it Sally is. made the well I mean we could call her worse names I think she's Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, Sally, Sally Mae is evil. She is. Evil. That's succubus. So uh, is that your plan then to stay at the motel for 800 Because that's what I'll put for your rent if that's what you plan. Renting utilities? It's um, it's 980 Not, I, Wait, what? It's 980 Oh, we were finding, I was finding cheaper places than that. For everything included, yeah. I don't know. That's for you to contact wait, them, Where them Where have you been finding those places at? It was in Odessa and but, it but was what, in Midland. What, what, what um, website were you using? Zillow. So I don't know about Zillow, but I know like apartment.com, like sometimes like 
they'll have scammers because anybody can post. So what I do is I always look up the apartment complexes. Well, but these could be mom and pop. You wouldn't find. I, I know, I know, I know. But I'm terrified of being trafficked. And then like, you know, like I'm a you girl. Have a friend I don't. Not out there? a lot. <laughs> no, no. You have a coworker that could come um, with you to a place? I'm sure that I could ask one of them. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's, it's a very dangerous town. No, sure. Absolutely. Um, like I, I totally respect that fear. <laughs> let's look at, let's look at the fear of being, me being murdered where I live now. You know, well, there's that, but I was going to say, let's look at solutions instead of just saying, okay, that's the fear. And then boom, that's it. Yes, sir. Solutions is okay. If, if we can find someone to come with us, that'd be great. Someone that you can trust, feel comfortable with. Cause I respect that. I respect mm -hmm. that. Well, let's figure out ways to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's call them up. Let's vet them. Let's see if they have uh, reputable sources of, you know, are there other tenants that are renting from them? You know, a little bit of research into them as well. But then I'll look at like the websites of the apartment complexes and I'll um, see that the prices are completely different from the Zillow, the apartment.com sure. postings. Sure. So whenever I tell you that they're 11, 1200, I mean that they're 11 and 1200. Hey. Uh, I mean, I've looked almost everywhere and they are 11 and 1200. Trust there me, there, there weren't a ton of options. It, it wasn't crazy because you're right. It, there's not a ton of options it's in that Texas area. It's not Texas prices. I don't know what you mean by that. Those. Well, you know, that's because you live in Austin. <laughs> Exactly. Austin's more expensive than that. So Austin's expensive comparable to most U.S. cities. Yeah. No, it's an expensive city. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, either way, all I'm it's saying. beautiful, but expensive. Okay. All I'm saying is get contact them. Actually contact mm -hmm. them. Again, nothing's accomplished unless we try. So everything's impossible until we do. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So we're putting, what was it, 980 mm -hmm. for your current rent? Okay. And utilities because it's all included. Yes. yes, sir. 980. Okay, wonderful. Groceries? Oh, and I just got a stove, too. My stove didn't work. Oh, right. I didn't even think about that for motel. It's well, no, I mean, it's a suite. So, I mean, not a suite. It's a studio, so there is a stove. It just doesn't work. So I got okay. I got hot plates. They won't fix it? No. It's, and it's, it's not a great... It sucks. <laughs> I don't even have hot water. Like, I haven't taken a hot shower in, like... No, the places I looked, I did 900 unless I didn't know you were doing 980. I should have done 1,000 unless We probably would have saw even more. Okay, $300 for groceries, $100 for toilet paper. Is there anything else you need to survive? And if, you know, things are up and down the ebb and flow, you can use a little bit of money in that fund that's left over for both. If you have anything left over at the end of the month, you might not. 60? You might. Uh, I did 100 for toilet paper fund. Oh, is that what... Okay, yes, sir. That sounds great. Okay. Um, car. You own your car, all right. My my biological dad gave it to me. Very cool. What's the car? It's a two thousand and six, um, Mercury Grand Marquis. Okay, how many miles? Um, one forty. <laughs> it's old, and it's not that many miles for how old it is. Two thousand and six. 140. I'm just because you are in full driving car required infrastructure out there. So I'm just like, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I just got my brakes fixed and that was a thousand bucks. Yeah. I started thinking about a car fund. So I'm just trying to figure it out. But that's good. That What's your car insurance? I don't pay it. What do you mean? My biological dad is paying it for me. Okay. What about gas on a monthly basis? Um, Maybe, what does it say that I... 164 is what you spent in that month. Um, Let's do 200. Okay. Phone bill? 40. Pretty good. What do you like with mint? Straight talk. Okay. They use Verizon Towers. And... I'm going medicals. Do you have any? Uh, I don't have health insurance. But you do have Planet Fitness, though. I do. No health insurance to work? I do. I have to. Oh. I just don't have health insurance. Because, okay. And this you is, haven't enrolled? Um, I don't know if I should or you if should. I should just wing it. No, you should. Should I? Yes, you should. My deductible is $3,800. Uh, they only have one plan available? That's the lowest. So that's the cheapest. Yeah. That will save you a shit ton of money if something big happens. Trust me. You're right. That kind of sucks for just like ongoing just medical appointments and prescriptions and stuff like that. But if you get like a true injury. 
That's true. That, people in West that Texas deductible is going to be nothing. Like compared, a bat out of hell. And that deductible <laughs> will be considered basically nothing versus what could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. True. You're right. Planet Fitness is where you go. It's where I should be going. Okay. Well, I'm going to include it in the budget because you should. 63.87. What? Nothing. Okay. Per Lego? Per, per oh, Lego? I have to cancel that. That is yes, a textbook it. subscription. Good. So it's like a library for textbooks. Anything else you need to survive? Um, I have a Netflix. And no, you don't. A, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to keep it. Sure. Because it prevents me from going out and doing things that would cost me more money. Congratulations. Use YouTube. It's free. And there's more content and it's better. Okay. Congratulations. Um, use t- TikTok. It's free. And there's more content. I'm also going to keep my Spotify. And I'm not going to go on TikTok. TikTok is the downfall. Okay. You don't have to use that. But uh, YouTube's great. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep my Netflix account. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm going to keep it. You know, it's not the biggest drop in the bucket, but all it is, is to me, is just showing what you're willing oh, to no, sacrifice. Oh, no, it's not Netflix. It's Hulu. And I have the student. Well, there's there's nothing on Hulu, and your student thing's going to end anyway. Uh, Hulu has a couple good shows, but other than that, it's going to. And then I also have student Spotify, but that's it for prescription. But that, that's going to end as well. I mean, how when when is it going to end? I don't know. When does it say it'll end after your graduation? Um, I think mine ended a year later. Yeah. But, I mean, that's still a year that I get at four bucks. Yeah. Yeah, it is. No, again. And I don't I don't have a lot of data on my phone, and I listen to podcasts when, I, when I'm when i at work. Yeah. So I have to download them and just. I'm not against them in general. You're, I'm not you're trying saying to, that you are. I'm just explaining to you why I'm going to keep them. I get. That's the same reason that everyone gives. So, trust me. It's not like I didn't know. Well, all I'm saying is what yeah, it's showing. Know. What it's showing is what you're willing to sacrifice. And, okay. you're like. I don't, are you willing to sacrifice? Nope. Not the, not the Hulu. I mean, I can Hulu. sacrifice. I'll take off the Hulu. Hulu. I'll take off the Hulu. I'm keeping my Spotify. Well, again, I mean, that probably goes in the toilet paper fund, but like you could do that. I'm going to. For what the toilet paper fund is. Okay. I'll get rid of my, my Hulu. You're right. It kind of sucks and there's nothing on there. Okay. $4 for Spotify. Uh, anything else you need to survive? No. People are like, oh, Caleb, you go too hard, all that stuff. I mean, this is when I got out of debt, which was worse debt than yours. I had more Sally made debt than you have. Yeah, but you had a, you, weren't you making six figures, though, when you were getting Not out of it? Not when I started. Yeah, but like like mid, were you like in the middle? I ended up getting a sales job where yeah. where the income I made was fully dependent on how hard I worked. Yeah, so no, I I'm worked not into saying, the evening. I'm not saying that you didn't work hard for yeah. your six figures. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like more. That's like about like the top 18 percent of Americans. So mm-hmm. of course, if you're you're working hard, if you're making that for the most part, well, yeah. that's Some not what I was not, saying but, it yeah. at all. So don't yeah. take it that way. No, no, no. But not when I started paying to get out of debt. But either way, what I did is I stopped all this. Uh, there was zero. It was uh, all sacrifice, no reward. Get out of the debt so I could live the better life quicker. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. So it's not about being a hard right now. It's just about willing to sacrifice whatever is needed to get out of the bad stuff. And you are in the bad stuff. Yeah, you're right. Um, all right, let me get your minimum monthly debt payments. Now, again, this is going to be different when the student loans kick in. Mm-hmm. And I honestly might have the lower ones paid off. Like the thousand dollar, the two thousand, I might have that those paid before they start. Oh, in May. Okay. I'm trying really hard to get out of the credit card debt. Yeah. I mean, I paid over half my first paycheck to the credit cards. No, that's great. I ate from the dollar store, and I, of course, I did the. Bull- Be much less price effective than grocery stores. I know, I know, I know that now, but like. Like, again, like, where I'm from, the dollar store is the cheapest option. I know. Yeah, food deserts, they, and yeah, I, dollar and stores take advantage we of We have H-E-B here. So. Yeah. No, you're in a town that has a grocery store. Yeah, yeah. And I, it's, it's, it's a lot different. Like, the prices for things are a lot different. Like. Okay, minimum for you to survive, including your $4 of Spotify, is. What? Nothing. $1,940.80. Now, what do I have that saved up? No, I don't have a savings. 
Okay. Now, what that does not include is uh, what the minimum monthly payments are going to be. That doesn't include the likely $350 a month in uh, public student loans that will start. It doesn't include whatever the Sally Mae minimum monthly payments are besides just the interest. It's probably going to be more than double. Hey guys, so for my brokerage outside of my traditional retirement accounts, when I'm doing my single stock picks and just overall brokerage moves, I've switched over to Moomoo. And they're actually upping their bonus from $400 to up to $5,000 when you transfer over to Moomoo using my link in the description below. I've been using them for a few months now before I recommended them because I just want to make sure I'm recommending the best platform possible. And honestly, I've kind of fallen in love with using it. And the best part is when you deposit money into your Moomoo account and you're not ready to invest yet, you get 5.1% on your money. So it's a pretty incredible platform to try. So feel free to try it in the link below. Um, so I think you're really going to be more of like a two minimum to survive once everything kicks in like a 2,750 potentially. That's what I'm thinking. Not hundred percent sure. It's hard. That's a guess, but either way, you'll still have leftover money, which is exciting. Now, what's more exciting is at this exact moment is the perfect opportunity to start taking care of because we have an extra $2,359.20 Woo! left on a monthly basis. Okay. Uh, it's the 18th. Okay. Let's just, uh, for the rest of this month, set some money aside, uh, you know, in a one month emergency fund, high yield savings. Um, okay. And then let's just call next month, month number one. So month number one, we're saving up a one month emergency fund. Cool. There's January. We're headed into February. What is going on in February? I will tell you. February, we pay off half the credit card. Cool. March. Credit card's completely paid off. Woo, woo, woo. April. Everything's probably starting to kick in at that point in terms of minimum monthly payments. So we're probably actually going to have $1,750 left over. Left on a monthly basis, but that's okay because we have a one month emergency fund and we killed our highest interest debt. So that's okay. We made progress with the, we made good progress with the time we had. So $1,750 is left. Obviously, we immediately kill the smallest Sally Mae. Do you want to do the smallest one or the one with the highest interest? They're the same. Um, but the one, College Avenue has sixteen oh. percent. Did you write that down? Let's let's kill the. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, that is the highest interest of the Sally Mays and the lowest balance. I still say let's kill that. I can kill that. Yeah. Yeah, kill that, and then the next one we do start to kill is the College Avenue, which will take two months. Uh, I'm sorry, where it was uh, March, April, May, June. So we're entering July. College Avenue is paid off. One of the Sally Mays and the credit card, and we have a one month emergency fund. Cool. July. July, August. July and August, Sally May number two is paid off. December. Potentially through December, maybe November of next year, we'll be paying off the highest Sally May. So it'll be a year from now to 11 months from now. We have a one-month emergency fund. And all bad debt is paid off, except for the friend. Honestly, the friend could probably be included in there as well. So honestly, it's probably, yeah, a year. We'll call it a year to I round up. I was thinking up. about like paying him back like 150, 100 out of every paycheck. It's up to you. You can. Because I do make 2100 Well, it's up to every you. Paycheck. You can. You can. But So every, like the amount that I make that's over 2000 No, I got it. Uh, I feel like, because I just want him to know that like I, I really appreciate him helping me. Of course. Um, and he, you know, that's up to you. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, with the conversation you had where he's like, yeah, take care of your high interest shit first. I'm like, okay, take care of the high interest shit first. Either way, he's paid off regardless within a year. And so is all bad debts. And you only have the high, the uh, uh, higher amount, but lower interest student loans that we're probably going to minimum monthly payment until they're paid off. Because mm -hmm. at that point, we're going to get a six-month emergency fund and you'll live in a place that you can afford, which... Which isn't dangerous. Which is not dangerous. <laughs> which... You can still do that now. This will just take maybe a year and a half to pay off, but you can do like thirteen hundred bucks a month in rent. Okay, thirteen hundred bucks a month in rent. Is that with everything included, or is that nope. just the rent? That's just the rent. Okay, you could do thirteen hundred bucks. Okay. Honestly, again, you could move up. Well, not well. Yes, move up in a place. Probably try to cap it at like a thousand one hundred now rent. And this this gets delayed by maybe a year and a half in total instead of a year. 
But if that's your safety, man, that's worth it. I'd rather you be alive to pay off this debt than not. Yeah, I'd rather be alive too. So yeah, maybe do that when you get home. Let's call it a year and a half then. Let's call it a year and a half then because you you get a place for like 1200 bucks or something. 1100 1200 A uh, year and a half, cool. Let's add another six months to get a six-month emergency fund. Cool. Okay. So this takes from all bad debt and a fully funded emergency fund, it takes two years to two and a quarter. Mm-hmm. That's what I would think. And then from there, you'd be like 26. Cool. This 20% aside on retirement on a monthly basis and you're going to retire. You're going to have a good retirement. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do is I wanted to get out of this debt as fast because I'm retiring. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be able to. You have the t- the uh, co- uh, time of compound interest on your side. That's why we take care of this. Now we get a fully funded emergency fund. We uh, lower our risk factor with that. And I want to help be able to like, you know, in the future, help my some family members sure. out of generational poverty too. So Sure, absolutely. And the best way to do that is making sure that you can actually afford to do that and take care mm-hmm. of yourself at the 100%. same time, which is by taking care of the debt now. 100%. Make sure you don't get attacked by lifestyle inflation. That is one nope. thing I'm a little worried, you know, moving up a uh, wealth level, you know, for the first time, just like in your family's history. And I don't like to spend money anymore. Now that I'm making well, it, I don't like to spend it because it takes me an hour or two to work it to like get to like be able to pay for and we shouldn't have seen this stuff i know we saw, but i know but that's because i had i thought i had a sugar daddy okay so cool which well, is kind of embarrassing goodness gracious really yeah i don't know i, I just know. i i don't i'm not like puritan so like i don't no, give no. That kind of stuff. are you sure you're not a puritan uh, and not when it comes to that kind of stuff but, like, maybe anyways, i'm a puritan when it comes anyways, to money we're talking about this so yeah two Two and a quarter, then 20% until you're mm-hmm. like mid 60s. And I'm due for, I'm supposed to be getting a raise in April. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I know. Yep. And keep pushing that. And you might be able to trade up jobs in the, you know, a few mm-hmm. years. I'd like to know. get into R&D. Okay. Yeah, sure. But your income is going to continue to increase as you mm-hmm. go through about it. And if you're a good worker and it seems like you are so far, then, you know, it's all, all, but all up from here. This mm-hmm. is what you're willing to sacrifice until then. Hopefully you're willing to sacrifice that food. Hopefully you're willing to sacrifice this and that, and you don't get a place that's too expensive, and you don't end up getting going getting a new car because now we're making a lot of money. And it's just all this stuff, all this lovely stuff that Mm -hmm. people typically fall into. As long as you don't, you really keep your head down for two years. You get out of the (laughs) fund emergency fund. Your life is golden as long as you don't like lifestyle inflate yourself Mm -hmm. overboard. Any questions? Any final thoughts? No questions, no final thoughts. For Kayla, when it comes to her Hammer financial score, spending in a budget certainly wasn't the worst that we've ever seen. But when you owe your friend, shouldn't be going out to eat? Three out of ten. Debt, again, not the worst we've seen, but that high interest private student loans and borrowing from a friend, I'm going to say three out of ten. But unfortunately, emergency fund, there's nothing, zero out of ten. Retirement, there's nothing, zero out of ten. Real estate, there's nothing, zero out of ten. So what does that come down to? I did not do the math beforehand. That comes down to a one out of ten. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best project budgeting program in the history of the internet. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com.